relying on on animals to do that for us but we'll see we'll see we'll finish this up we'll strip this out uh, we might combine this into a bigger chamber so that this steam turns into water again and then we can start relying on that uh, next dormancy is in 3.9 cycles for that um, next dormancy oh wait our natural gas geyser is dormant at the moment uh, but it'll be back in 27.6 cycles. There's still quite a bit of gas in here, so we should be okay for power. If we do run out of pa power before uh, the next activity starts again on that bad boy, we might have to think about using up some of our coal as like a backup. We could just get a couple of coal generators up to like fill the gap and then just disable them when uh, that comes back online. Uh, and there's still much exploring to do. We haven't explored, we've explored enough, but we haven't explored that much. There's probably still some other crap out here that we can explore. And we're going to probably move our um, storage out of the base um, and repurpose um, some of these areas here into um, other stuff that we can use, you know, like places to live, move these machines out of here as well. Um, put them somewhere else. So, I mean, these these are never used. They're, they're used like once in a blue moon. This is never used because we have a steady supply of gold uh, refinement. Actually, there's 8.1 tons of it just sitting here ready to be collected. So I don't even think we need this machine anymore. And um, if we're going to do refined metal, we'll do it properly and not inefficiently with the rock granulator. If we need sand and stuff later, though, we could always get this back, but... It's, it's so seldom used, isn't it? So we can get rid of all this stuff. I, um, I put sandbox mode on so that we could get rid of stuff that was in the way that you can't deconstruct. Because it's kind of dumb that you can't deconstruct it. Should be able to deconstruct like the lockers and the desks and those lights and stuff. But you can't. So I had to remove them. So that's the only cheating we've done. Otherwise, uh, we're in good shape. We're in pretty good shape. We're in great shape. All right. Where were we with this thing? Uh, we didn't do any of the vents. We haven't done any of the, uh, the, the gas pipes or anything yet. So let's go for some radiant pipes in here. Uh, we know that we want this to be pretty much the same as it is up here, right? So we're gonna have this, like, loop through here. I think after this, we're gonna be, uh, pretty good for the old oxygen. I don't think we need to worry about oxygen anymore. So we'll have effectively included all of the oxygen which is great we'll have this filter in um to here for the suits this will be for the suits and then any excess that we create will pump into the base as well um so we're gonna want to where is this going right now all the way up here no this is output from is this hydrogen going into here wait this thing is a total mess so it comes out here, it goes down here. Oh yeah, it's going into here. And then what's this? Oh, of course, yeah, that's the hydrogen coming off of this. Okay, so we'll have the hydrogen come off this and then bridge this over here. That's fine. Okay, so this will come out like this. Um, and then we'll bridge it here, I guess, with a gas bridge. We'll make this out of abyssalite just in case. Uh, and then we'll have this go in here and connect up to here like so right so that's going to be uh oxygen and then we want to have um uh, we're probably going to need a filter right to filter this properly so before we connect that up we'll go for a gas filter we'll make it out of wolframite we'll make it out of wolframite does that sound like a, a good idea to you guys and then we'll shove this thing in here somewhere do I have room for this anywhere? Not really. We might just have to put it up here. Next to this other one. Are we going to be able to bridge over that? Yeah, I guess we can, right? Yeah, that should work. Okay, so we'll do this. Let's cancel this stuff. We know that we want to do that. So we'll have this insulated. So that we don't lose any of the, any of of the heat. We don't want to. We don't want to lose any heat. So this will go into here like that. Or wait, will it? Yeah, yeah, it has to. Okay, 
oxygen goes into the base. No. Yes. Like so. Uh, and then hydrogen goes into this pipe like this. So it's a little bit of a mess of pipes, but it's probably okay. Uh, what's this? Uh, granite? Perfect. Alright, so this bad boy needs a bridge as well. So we're going to have a gas bridge in here. Uh, same setup as above. We're going to have it here like this. And then that'll go into... Um... Oh yeah, this gets vented out, doesn't it? Okay, perfect. So we'll go like this. Like that. And then we're going to vent this out. Like so. Um, and then these bad boys hook up to here, don't they? And we'll make these radiant as well. Perfect. Great. And then we have space for to close things off. And then we can get this. Do we got the batteries and stuff here? We do. We're full power on this as well. So this can be... Um, disabled. Don't need that enabled right now. Oh, how, yeah, no, we'll disable it just for now and then we'll re-enable it when we're ready to vent out the whole room, right? That's what we'll do. Okay, good. So, insulated tile here. We're gonna do it out of granite again. There's nothing else that we need to make over here, right? And then this is um, set to below... We just want this active all the time, right? Oh crap, this has started already. Oh yeah, we want to pipe this out first, don't we? So ventilation, insulated pipe. We're out of abyssalite. Holy crap, that's unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Okay, so hang on a second, let's cancel this and then We'll have this vent out down here or up here. Oh, it doesn't really matter, actually. We can just have it vent out, like, up here. And we'll build this out of that. Okay, good. Okay, so this is going to vent out the room. Because there's there's a little bit of... there's There are some airs in there. There's a couple of little airs in there that we need to get rid of, right? We're probably going to need a ladder over here to, to finish up these pipes as well yeah any idea when we'll reach the surface we have um reached the surface but we haven't done anything with it yet we have we have hit the surface though we dug up to here so there's all this and then this over here this is like the base that's always at at the surface it's got like a reception and stuff in it. it's pretty nice but we haven't done anything with it yet. We have to get the telescope set up if we want to do, like, more research and stuff, right? We have to get that telescope set up. Finish off our researches. Um, okay, so let's deconstruct this. It's going to be a bit tough to get in here and switch it all back on after, but it should be okay. Okay, so this is venting to here. That's venting to there. Let's enable this so that we can start pushing some of this air out of here. And then we're going to want to seal these off here as well. Is this, is this plumbed? Oh, fuck, this isn't even plumbed yet. Okay, where is this going to take water from? Same place as here, right? It's out of here. How cold is this water, by the way? 26 degrees. It doesn't really matter, but it's going right through the base. So, on that front, it sort of does matter. Okay, so let's pipe this into here, from here. Like so. And then we're going to have to cancel um, this building here, too. It's the insulated tile that we want cancelled, because we have to get in here and do this. 
so this is going to have to be deconstructed as well so that we can do this job. So we can lay this pipe. And then that'll be oxygen done. That'll be oxygen fully included. And then we can get rid of all of this crap over here. Probably extend this chamber over so that it's not so fucking piping hot in here. Um, and then we can um, hopefully have some of this uh, steam turn into water, which will just collect the bottom. It'll be hot water, though. This water is almost 100 degrees. That's crazy. So, wait, wait. When water gets to, what, 100 what? How hot does water need to be before it, before it makes, before it, like, turns into steam? What's, what? I didn't take any science classes. Sorry. I should have, it's a hundred degrees. Okay, so all that water could potentially just turn into steam. Oh my god. It's a hundred degrees at standard pressure. Okay. Zero equals frozen and a hundred equals steam. Alright, good. Thanks, chat. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Okay, perfect. Insulated tile back here then. And then when that's done, we can close this off and start piping all this crap out, right? Fucking, the base is a bit of a fucking mess, great, isn't it? Dad. Jeez, it's a big base, but it the is a little is bit of a mess. looking nice. Also loving the painting. What, which painting? All of the paintings? Hey, every single painting is a painting of food. That's insane. Do you know how lucky we are to have all paintings of food? Maybe they paint, like, what they're thinking about at the time, and maybe they're having, a like, a quiet revolt about the lack of, of food. It depends sure if this game uses proper pressure physics though it might not you know missing some tiles in here oh yeah you're right i am hang on a second let's not forget about these other tiles in here we want to have tiles in here because we didn't build them in this one so this one's going to be less efficient somehow if you can believe that it probably isn't going to be less efficient though it's probably still going to be a masterpiece of efficiency, right? No? Decoration bonus. No, this is low quality paintings with low decoration bonus. Okay, so we have to redo the paintings to make better masterpieces. Quaint. The decor is plus 16.5. Okay, we can do better on that front, I think. We could probably do better. We can make some better paintings than quaint. We want to have masterpieces wall-to-wall -wall masterpieces right that's the way to do it all right let's seal this off then and then start pumping all of this out of here it's gonna we're gonna pump ah fuck this is this is working now this should not be working ah oh, balls all right we might be pumping a bit of hydrogen out of the room too which is kind of annoying Fuck, you know what? I'm all over the place today, boys. I'm all over the place. Look, we forgot a couple of other tiles in here, too. Look, we have to have this tile in place, ready to rock and roll, right? We have to have this stuff in place. Okay, so we can seal off the top chamber, build this, and then seal off the bottom, and then we should be good to go. We want to we want to start with as little um, pressure in there as possible, and then fill up the right areas with the right stuff, right? Okay, perfect. And then when it's when it's more or less emptied out, then we put tiles. We take this tile out, put a tile back here, and then we're good to go. And then that should be that done. Then we can hook it up to the mainframe. Power up all of our suits. Or, sorry, fill all of our suits with beautiful air. Um, and then take it from there. Am I right? Or am I wrong about this? No? I'm still missing one tile? I know. I, I just said we're going to put this one back after. We'll put this tile back after. It should be fine. See, these ones... This one here is working. The one above it is working as well and that's going to be all of our oxygen generation is this guy dead yet he's going to die in a cycle ah but look the mealwood is is cooled it's ready to go he can eat 
Get in there and eat. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. He's starving. 0 0.9 cycles. Look. There's some perfectly good meal wood for you here to eat. Get on it. How are his scales doing? Scale growth is at 100%. We could shear him again as well. For even more plastic. That's, that's great. Oh, can he reach it? I don't know. I was told that he should be able to reach it. But maybe he can? I think he's just going to die. I don't think he can path around here. I don't think he can quite figure it out yet. Maybe one of these guys will eat one and then we can prove that it does work. Well, you know what? We can always get another one, right? <laughs> I think he's going to die. No. Reach out and touch space. Yeah, no. He's going to he is going to probably die. I guess he can't I, he can't figure out how to get here. I, or maybe these aren't grown enough yet for him to um, to actually eat them. I don't know. Okay. Good. I think we're starting to get rid of all this stuff in here, right? Alright. We're pumping. We're pumping out the chamber, baby. We gotta keep we gotta keep tightening the bolts here too. What's coming out of here? Lots of oxygen, and we probably get a little bit of hydrogen out of here too. But once it's pumped out, it should be great. Oh, hey look, we managed to shear him <laughs> before he died, so we got a little bit more plastic. We got some bonus plastic before the big death happens in 0 0.5 cycles. I like the way that my dupes think. I think that's good. It's a, it was a clutch shearing that, that occurred. <laughs> Make an airlock above and vent disobedient dupes into space. You can do that? I'm still missing an insulated tile in the bottom. I know I am, yeah. What? You mean this one here? We're going to add it after. We want to vent out the whole room, right? We want to get everything out of here so that it's, there's only hydrogen in this chamber. So we're going to remove this tile, build a tile here, and then uh, rebuild this tile when we're like all set to go, right? That's how it's gonna. That's how it's gonna go down. We have to get all of this out of here first, though. Oh, for fuck's sake! It doesn't help. We're probably never going to be able to do it because this thing is active. It shouldn't really be active. I, I made the mistake of uh, plugging it in. So maybe we're just going to have to go like this. We might just have to go like this. Alright, fine. Fuck it. We're just going to go like this and hope for the best. Is this unreachable? Oh, for fuck's sake. I didn't leave enough room in here to get to... in to poke in here and do it. So we're gonna have to do it this way. So even more air and stuff is gonna go in here. It's gonna mess up the whole system. It should still work. I guess it just won't be a, like a, like as peak efficient as the, uh, as the... as the... as the... I say peak efficient. It's probably not peak efficient realistically, but whatever. We'll sort it out. We'll get it sorted out. But just make sure that we do this work really quick. It'll still be cold enough in there no matter what. Okay, good. Let's put this in here too. And then we'll do the pipe work. So this no longer goes to here. It's going to go here instead. This is um, oxygen. It needs to be plugged in as well. Where's oxygen? Not included. Okay, perfect. And then power. Gold. What's this at? 840. Perfecto. That's perfecto. Okay, so that takes that, that circuit up to 960 as well, right? 960. So we want to get rid of this. Now, 
And this vent. And then this stuff is all going to get pumped into here. And then uh, it looks like we got this vent going down here. Okay, that's great. So once this is hooked up and it starts running, then we can start turning off all of this and deconstructing all of these pipes here and stuff too, right? In fact... Where's this all powered up to right now? Oh my lord. It's insane. It is insane. Okay. So we can get rid of all of this stuff, right? We'll hang on to this air. We'll hang on to the air that's in the pipes already and flush it out. We'll use it. We might as well, right? Shit, we're out of abyssalite too. Okay. Let me just mine some up very quickly. We just need like a little bit of abyssalite. There's a bunch down here that we can get to. Okay, good. And then once that's ready to go, we can turn it on. Get it, get it rocking and rolling, and then get it to the point where it does it does what it needs to do, right? So this one is above a thousand, and this one is above five hundred. What are your plans for Friday night? Pizza night? No, I don't know what my plans are tonight. I think I'm just gonna have some halloumi wraps and. Um, stare at myself in the mirror and cry like all night like just standard friday stuff you know check for slime lung there's none i don't think we've and we managed to clear all the slime lung out so it's fine we're all good there is no slime lung in the base or anywhere near the base for that matter okay so is that us hooked up Okay, the system is hooked up so we can uh, enable this building. We're emptying out these pipes down here ahead of time too. We use up the rest of this air. Um, and then the rest of this can go. Oh, this is fantastic. Okay, so let's get rid of this vent. Um, I think we can get rid of all of these vents up here. Because I don't think we're going to do this this way anymore. A little bit of hydrogen coming up the pipe here. We have to make sure that the hydrogen goes to where it needs to go to. So that comes out of there and comes out of there. So this is the pipe that we were using for steam, right? So we want to get rid of all of these steam pipes here. Yes. And we've got all these fucking bridges everywhere, but that doesn't matter too much. Alright, so this bad boy is now up and running. We have to keep powering it with a wheel until it gets to the point where it can power itself, like the one above. The one above is... Doing great, Dad. Doing real great. Perfect. How's this one... Oh, fuck. There's a little bit of oxygen coming out of the top here. Which is damaging our... Oh, my lord. Look at all this damage. That's why you gotta vent the room out. Okay, hopefully the oxygen... The excess op oxygen at the top starts getting cleared out. It'll, like, correct itself eventually, but holy shit. How, d how much more damage can this take? I have no idea. We'll have to see. This could be... This could actually turn out to be a huge mess. Because I didn't vent it out properly.
Oh my god. Okay, well, well, we'll just leave it. I think it's probably fine. Um, how's this? Okay, this is all cleared out, so we can start getting rid of these pipes here, too. All of these pipes. We're going to claim back all of these materials. It's going to be glorious. Okay, let's deconstruct all this. Let's deconstruct this as well. So none of these pumps are working, but that's okay because these pumps were pushing water into this system to begin with anyway, and we don't need it anymore. Oh, man, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of cleanup, but it'll be worth it in the end, right? I think our glossy Dreco is dead, but we did get the plastic from, from him. Oh, God, rip. Everybody, have a salute. Have I heard the greatest European point-and-click game ever made, Paradigm? No, I haven't. What did I do before gaming? I looked like a software dev. I, that's exactly what I was. Mm. But it was like business software, right? It was. I, I used to work for a bank. I used to program software for a bank on, the, on a really, really old system. And then after that, I used to do software development at a law firm, if you can believe that. Why does a law firm need software development? I don't know. It was pretty fun though. It was, it was a pretty cool job. I got to program in C Sharp a lot, which was nice. I had to like, I had to make lots of like, um, I had to make lots of software that uh, helped systems that were never meant to speak to each other, uh, speak to each other. So that was kind of interesting too. It was pretty fun. I mean, obviously it goes without saying, I prefer just playing video games all day and all night for a living, but but there you go. All right, so all of this wiring can be sacked off too. These pumps can be deconstructed. Deconstruct this one too. And then if there's any plumbing down here, let's get rid of this too. Perfect. We're ripping the whole system out, boys. We're, we've done it. It's all ripped out. We're going to deconstruct these bad boys here, too. And have this... Maybe we can use this hallway for, like, vacuum tubes and stuff. That'd be kind of cool, right? What is the greatest tip for an aspiring programmer? I don't know, man. Um, I mean, it's, a, it's the type of job where you really have to like programming. So I guess that would be my first tip actually enjoy programming because um, it can be a pretty tedious job if you hate programming I, I suppose um, my other tip is um, I don't know I don't know I it wasn't the type of thing where a lot of tips were needed I don't think anyway it wasn't that sort of thing you know deodorizer can go this automation wire can go Oh my god, we ran automation wire all the way down here? That's crazy. Okay. This can all go. This can fucking go too. What are we doing with this water in here? What? Where's this? Where are we? Oh, I see. We're using this water for these electrolyzers. All right, so we do need some water in here. The electrolyzers can take any... Well, actually, the electrolyzers are kind of like a... Um, are, are like a heat deleter, right? They can, take, um, they can take any temperature water and they'll output gas at the same temperature, at a set temperature. So we can delete a lot of heat. So what we're going to do is we're going to feed the electrolyzers with water from down here once we get this like up and going. Next activity though is in 44 cycles. So we're going to have to use this to start with and possibly uh, fill with this backup water that we have. Um, another thing we can do is we could, we could clean up polluted water. We could clean it up. 
We can we can turn it into normal water, and then we can use one of those um, tepidizers to um, to clean up the water. And then we could just use a germ sensor before we send it. Make sure that the water is germ free before it starts to pump, or something like that. It doesn't really matter. Why are the notifs spazzing out top left? I don't know because I think um, I think they're idle and then they're not idle and they they don't know really know what they're doing. They're just like getting into like a bit of a state. I have no idea why that's happening. All right, so we have all this stuff here. We were probably gonna wanna move this polluted water. We're gonna make a bigger piss tank, I think, but we're gonna move it like far away from the base. It doesn't need to be right in the base. And it's kind of dangerous having it so close to like where everybody's living, right? Cause like just on the other side of this wall, these people know that there's just a huge vat of piss. And I don't think anybody wants any of that. Okay, this gas valve can go now too. It was fun while it lasted. How many more cycles for this? 43 cycles before this thing starts p producing steam. So it looks like all the steam that was in here turned into water. So I guess it cooled down enough. That's pretty good. Um, okay, so let's start deconstructing all this stuff and claim back some of these resources. This can go, and this can go. We can deconstruct this bad boy too. And also this bad boy. That's good. Will the Oxcast ever come to New Zealand's Armageddon? I have no idea. My cooling plants died top left. Yeah, this one here. It's because it's so cold in here. It's minus 61 degrees in that chamber. So that's fine. It doesn't need to be alive to do anything. Even if they all die, it should just stay minus 61 in there, which is what we want, right? So their sacrifice was uh, is, is, is duly noted, right? They, they've made a, a fantastic sacrifice there. Um... We could try to have this as like sort of like a, a like a chlorine uh, like walk-in space. Uh, we could just like flood this with chlorine, but it would just mean that we'd want to access it from the top, come down in, and then come back out the other side, right? We'd have to we'd have to divert all traffic this way though. So like for instance, if we're clearing out this slime biome over here. We don't want people just like coming back this way and then coming in and germing up the base. Having said that though, we're probably going to move all the storage out of the base and put it into like some sort of like chlorine storage or something. So maybe we can do that like down here somewhere. It's still got to be close enough for that so that people can uh, do stuff with it. Like like building and, and whatnot. But uh, the stuff that we're going to store in the base is going to be stuff that we need to. Like um, food obviously. Seeds is a pretty good one, too. We've got to move all these farms out of here, too, because the decoration bonus that... Or the lack of decoration bonus that the farms for us is terrible. Like, look here. Total decor is minus 128. Like, nobody wants to be living next to gross farms, right? So we're going to have to move some of this stuff out and then redecorate the base. Because they get a huge uh, morale boost from uh, from from decoration, right? Capture the stone hatch in your base, then feed it ore to make it lay smooth egg. And that hatch refines a hundred kilogram of ore every three days. I don't know if we need that like right now. I don't really want to capture a hatch. I don't I don't I don't like hatches. If anything, I would like to kill this hatch that's Oh look at this guy. We've got a uh, sage hatch. We've got a sage hatch who will eat just about anything and excrete coal. He's 61 out of 100 years old. They can live to be 100. Can you believe that's crazy? Okay, I think that this is is okay. It's it's a wait it's a waiting repair, which is, is never going to happen, but it might still work anyway. Okay, I think we can disable this now. Boop. Boop. 
not using that much power. I'm not producing that much oxygen either. Okay, there we go. Now it is. It's happening in bursts. It's queuing up where it needs to. Perfect. Alright, so now without that wheel, that's one less thing for dupes to do. And when this battery runs low... Oh shit, did I put the automation in? Yeah, I did. Okay, perfect. I totally forgot. The last time we, play we played this game was like Wednesday, right? Thursday? Yeah, no, it was Wednesday. Just don't try to kill the stone hatch. It's literally eight times stronger than any other hatch, and it will kill at least one dupe. The stone hatch. Okay, I won't try to kill any hatches. I'm, f I'm fine with these hatches just roaming around the base and stuff. It's fine. What, will, they, uh, will they attack if you try to wrangle them as well and move them? Move them along? What if you try to move them along? Will they get mad then too? So there's slime by them all the way over here. Man, there's... Fuck, we've made a total mess over here, haven't we? Next activity is in 21 cycles for this. God, there's a lot of fucking air in... Well, I say that. There's a lot of gas in here, but we're going to probably blast through it. So, But hopefully, hopefully, not before uh, the next uh, cycle starts. That would be perfect, right? Okay, so this here now um, needs to be uh, removed. We'll deconstruct this. Let's deconstruct actually all of this, but not that. Is this wire? There's some wire still here? Oh yeah, look. There's a fucking wire bridge in here still. So yeah, if we make this chamber a bit bigger, then hopefully the steam will just turn into water quicker. That's the hope anyway. That's what we're going to try for. Okay, so this abyssalite ladder. De deconstruct this ladder. Put some tiling down there. We want to try to, like, um, contain the heat as well. But hopefully if it's a, a bigger room, the whole room won't heat up too much. Like, how hot is it right now? It's like 61 degrees right now. It's not too bad. Did I read out your donation, Liz? That's me. No, I didn't. Sorry, I only just saw it. Hey, um, the Star Seducer. I'm so sorry, man. A half an hour ago, you donated. I didn't even say thanks. Uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Thanks. And Liz, that's me. Thanks for the donation as well. I have a few suggestions. Open the door to the steam geyser to make steam water lower pressure equals more oxygen. Please, for the love of God, open that room in the ice biome. Also, hi, Dad. You the best. Liz, that's me. Thanks so much. Thanks. I will do all of those things in time. It just, it takes a little bit of time for me to do these things. And for that, I apologize, but it's just the way she goes, you know? Sometimes she goes and sometimes she doesn't. And this time, she didn't go. Start getting rid of some of these ladders as well, because they're not needed. Like, this one is not needed either. But we'll use this main one here to access the bits and pieces that we need to access. Man, everybody, I guess nobody else has anything better to do today than just come down here and do all these jobs as soon as I ask for them to be done. That's kind of great, actually. That is kind of great. Um, okay, let's get rid of, start getting rid of some of these floors here, too. So hopefully this chamber will just be big enough now for the, um, the stuff to melt away, right? The, the steam to turn into beautiful water Let's see it's gonna take 40 cycles or so for this thing to start going again so and by then we might be dead we might have run out of power and food and everything else actually we have a lot of food stored we do have a lot of food stored steam chamber should only be insulated on the top so it can cool down from the sides and that's a pretty good idea so we want to insulate it from the top
and then have it cool down from the sides. Gotcha. Gotcha. It's bedtime. Everybody's going to bed. Fine. Um, okay, let's deconstruct this and also this. This is no longer needed. There's a whole bunch of sand and stuff. We have a ton of ice. 17.8 tons of ice sitting in this chest. If ice melts in the chest, does it just turn into water and then fill the pool or what? Does that happen? Because I'm not sure. There's another steam vent. You generally get two. All right, well, we'll find it. This one is the one that we're working with for now. Um, you're probably right, though. There probably is another steam vent out here somewhere. We just got to find it. There's a door that we can open that in that ice biome. Liz, that's me. You're right about that. Um, there was nothing in here. Oh, there's this here, but I don't think this gives us much. So you're saying open this one in here? You want me to open this one? I don't know what's in there. We'll we'll find out though. Is there anything down here? No. Okay. Just a lot of slime and other gross shit. Okay. Did we have a fire pole at one point? Oh, we did, didn't we? But then we built all this stuff here, so now they're back to using ladders. Oh, well, that's fine too. Okay, so let's get a ladder here, and then this can be where we... So down here we want to have just normal tiles, right? Oh wait, no. Oh, wait, no. Okay, perfect. We'll mop up some of this water as well to get rid of it. Some of it... Some of it's... I think, I think you want... Actually, you know what? I think you want a little bit of water um, for when you start digging out slime because I think it I think if you're digging out slime and water falls on it it's it prevents the slime lung from going airborne right you still have the slime lung like on the stuff but we're gonna try to store store all of our stuff in a big chlorine chamber so that that's not a problem either everything will get stored in there the chlorine will just eat away at all the germs and then um, and then it's ready for general use, right? Do you think these little 2D guys can comprehend my magnificent all-dimensionality? I, I don't know. I, I've never asked them to do that, so I'm not, I'm not too sure. There's a bunch of stuff at the bottom here that we can maybe do with um, having at some point. So let's just put an airlock on here for now. So that they can actually access the chamber when they need to. Um, we've got all of these other airlocks here, which I don't think we really need anymore. We were just trying to keep heat in. Or sorry, we were trying to keep the cold in at one point, weren't we? Okay, where are we going to store all of our stuff? Where's a good place for us to, to put like a nice a nice chamber of chlorine? This is working now. Uh, yeah, look at that. It's all hydrogen, baby. Except for like a little tiny bit of oxygen still coming out. But we're hopefully pushing all of the oxygen down with the hydrogen. Hopefully this thing doesn't get too damaged. Hopefully it's just like corrected itself. Okay, so that is for um, the suits. This whole thing is just for suit oxygen. That's crazy. We're running out of gas a little bit. 
We might even find another one of these somewhere. If we found another one of these somewhere, we could get another, like, natural gas power plant set up, and then we would probably not need to worry too much about power. Especially if their cycles, like, uh, overlapped. So, like, while one is dormant, the other one was active or whatever. That'd be kind of cool, right? No? You're buying this game next week. Good for you, Christmas crustacean. Best way to store slime is building a compactor in water and store it there. Can't you just store it all in, in a chlorine room as well, though? I'm pretty sure that that works. What's in here? Oh, bleach stone. There's bleach stone. I think there's, like, some gross slime and stuff here, too. So all the storage in the base is pretty much full, but like I said, we're going to try to get rid of it. Now that this is up and running and we don't have to worry about it too much, we can start working on that, I think. So we want storage... We'll, we'll leave this space open here. So if we want to have, like, transport tubes and stuff, we'll, we have space for it, right? Shipping. Automation. Utilities. Stations. I mean, I've got the stuff. It's plastic that we need, right? What does that come under? Base? Bunker doors and bunker tiles. Transit tube. How big are these? Transit tube crossing. Oh, there's just one tile. So we could have like a... We could have like a huge system of transit tubes. That this, there's like four directions that it can go, right? It can like come out here and then like one can take you up to the spaceship and one can take you over to the left here and one can take you down here to the bottom. We gotta be careful though because I think the, the tubes can melt if they're too hot. So you probably like generally want it like at the top and not one that takes you down to where it's super hot. Like it's 82 degrees down here. I think that's too hot. Next to the ice room in ice bio biome was a covered geyser. Really? Oh yeah, you're right. There's one right here. Okay, we can go find out what that is. We'll go do some exploring. We can get we can probably break into here too, right? I don't think it's too germy up here. It's not. Um, so how far can we make it up here? We can jump over here and get up to here. So that means that we can dig up from here as well. Jump up into here. Um, let's grab this wheeze wart while we're at it, too. Jump up to here, and then dig into here, like so. Yeah, like, we can almost make it up here, I think. That's us in here. Grab this guy too. Okay, and then we can just like expose a little bit of this. But not too much, just so we can see what it actually is. Can these guys make it up? Wait a second, what the fuck? Oh, I think because some of it was snow. So it went down. My pathing was not perfect. It was not perfect. Okay, cool. So we can break into that. Uh, we can. We might as well deconstruct this as well. So we can see what's in this room. And then we'll, we'll expose a little bit of this to see what kind of vent it is. Is this all chlorine and polluted oxygen? Well, it's mostly chlorine, I think. All right, so we're going to make a huge um, plastic. Of course, I have plastic. We make plastic tiles. Significantly increases duplicate run speed and gives you a decor bonus as well. Buildings made of this material have antiseptic properties. Slow heating and it's an insulator. Is plastic a good insulator? Submit the bioskin. What does that do? Okay, let's try it. 
I've never tried it. Usually I just deconstruct the doors. I don't bother with the bio skin. Um, okay, so storage will set up down here then. We'll have a um, an entrance like here, right? And then we'll have a ladder that comes down into here. And then all of our storage will just be in here, right? So we can insulate this as well, but we don't really need to. It doesn't need to be insulated. So we'll have like a rung there, a rung there, a rung there, and a rung here. So that's what, two, 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 two. Yeah, perfect. We'll make it quite big. Why not, eh? Why the hell not? There, it'll go down like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just, uh, we're just going to pump chlorine into here. So we're going to just get a pump set up like here and start pumping out all of this. And we'll, we'll push all the excess out elsewhere and we're just going to pump in as much chlorine as we can. We could even get a pump set up down here eventually too. Um, and then pump as much chlorine as we can into this chamber. And then I guess we probably want to try to pump other stuff out I'm not too sure though we're gonna need a lot of airflow tiles in here too we can use gold for them should be fine so we'll leave a space for vents and stuff to come in and that should be like a ton of storage right to get us started Okay, perfect. And then we're going to want to have a um, airlock here. The top. Because chlorine just falls to the bottom, right? It's heavy. It's really heavy. But don't tell me you got 24-hour ban. Who got a 24-hour ban? Not me. Um, can they get, Can they get up here? I can't get to this one apparently. So they could should be able to jump up here. So they take the ladder, jump up to here, jump up here, jump up here. Ah. Sorry, there was a, a kink in the plan. There's just a small kink in the plan. How are we doing for it's going down a little bit. How many cycles are we at for this? 17.9 cycles before that starts spewing out beautiful, um, disgusting natural gas again. It's one high. Kink in a plan. Yeah, that's right. One, one giant kink for man. One really really giant kink for mankind so this is gonna like screw up the heights and stuff of rooms but we can maybe push it down a little bit I'm not sure we'll see we got a dupe here but I don't think we need more dupes we certainly don't need a dupe that's never going to dig an anemic yokel or somebody with noodle arms. So let's just reject all of these guys. Hey, building this on top of chlorine means that we're going to get a lot of chlorine in here as well, which is pretty good. Okay, so at the top here, let's have a gas pump that pumps everything uh, that rises up out. We're going to have a filter here so that we filter back in the chlorine. And then everything else will just get pumped out to here. So there'll be like some hydrogen and crap like that. Um, let's put this... Oh, for fuck's sake, what have I done here? That's annoying, isn't it? Okay, so let's pump this like that. 
that can come out like that. And this is just going to be chlorine that can fall to the bottom, right? Like so. Power-wise? Where's the trunk? Oh, God. Eight forty. 980 holy shit 960 that's at 960 this is only at 240 <laughs> oh my god there's a whole circuit here for one massage table and there's an unused circuit up here as well we have a, a completely unused circuit so this water filter is not currently working what are we doing with this so the polluted water overflow goes in here. We might want to just power this up. Wait. Oh no. Is this water filter even needed? Oh fuck me. This sis Look at this fucking system right now. <laughs> Look at this. What on oith? So hang on a second. So we've got... Fresh water that's being cooled is coming in here to the electrolyzers. And then we have this bridge here, which is doing what exactly? Is any of this stuff still set up and working? Because it doesn't look like it to me. I think we could probably get rid of all these pipes, right? That's an output pipe. And then just have the pee water come out. It should be fine. We don't need to pump this pee water right now. Okay. We're going to need to get rid of some of this stuff anyway. So we might as well deconstruct this stuff. We'll leave the pump in there because eventually we will pump this pee water out. But we're, we'll pump it out somewhere else, right? So that means that we can get rid of these wires here. Oh man, it's nice when it's nice tidying up the old base though, isn't it? No? Oh, anyone anyone uh on board with the old uh, base tidy up? Is any anyone else feeling that? Anyone else like tidying up a base or not really? No. Okay. We're going to have to tidy up some of these circuits here as well. I mean, this one up here, I don't know what the hell that's going to power. What's this one on? 240. So we can probably bridge down here with this temporarily just to power up all this crap there that should be fine right get this thing going so that we can start pumping the stuff out pump the chlorine back in in case it does take some chlorine There's chlorine and carbon dioxide down here. Quite a bit of it, too, actually. There's a surprising amount of chlorine in here. There's a whole bunch of chlorine sitting here that we can pump in, too. We should be able to reach that, too. And then we should be able to... Just do that. I mean, this is just temporary anyway, right? We just want to pump these gases. So it's 240 plus 240. Yeah, that we should be fine here. So we can put this through like that. Pump some of this in. So we're going to pump everything out except for chlorine. And then once, once we're all chlorined up in here, we should be able to uh, set up our... Well, actually, we don't need to be completely chlorined up. We can start getting up all of our... Our things set up in here already anyway so let's use um, granite I guess god that's a lot of storage isn't it jeez we 
We might even be able to set up a system for like auto sweepers and stuff too later on. 